Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. My name is Grace, if you're new here. It's Thursday. Last night, I stopped vlogging. I took a shower, and then I studied secure transactions some more for, like, another hour. And then I just did, like, wedding planning stuff, just looking at, like, cakes and different signs and just, like, the random things that you have at a wedding. But this morning, I woke up at 5 a.m. for no reason. Well, I did go to sleep a little earlier than usual last night at like 10 30 instead of 12 30 so that's probably why i woke up at five but this morning i sent out some emails to bakers for my wedding cake to see like pricing and stuff and i made some signs which i'll show you later for like the bar for just like the menu we're having an open bar um we paid extra to have like top shelf liquor and stuff but I want it to be listed so people don't have to ask the bartenders like what's available and then our signature drink which is just a margarita <laughs> and then signs for favors and then for pictures because we're going to have like little disposable cameras not little just disposable cameras when you walk in so people can take pictures throughout the night and then we'll get them developed and we'll have all these cute little extra pictures so and then I also messaged some people on Instagram for signs like the welcome to our wedding and then an unplugged ceremony sign because we are having an unplugged ceremony, which basically means uh, you can't have your phones out. Not that you can't have your phone out, but you shouldn't take pictures during the ceremony because it's like my pet peeve is when I'm at a wedding or something and you look down the aisle and everyone has their phone in the aisle and like the bride is walking down. I just feel like it looks... Like, it takes attention away from the bride or something, and I, f I always hate that, and I never partake. But that was my morning, then I got ready, and now we're going to study. So on today's study to-do list, I'm doing family law and agency. So I've been doing this thing, and by I've, do I've been doing, I mean, I started it yesterday, is doing an MEE topic focus. So MEE topics are just ones that are just essays. You wouldn't see it in a multiple choice. So I'm choosing one or two topics a day and just focusing in on those and spending like three or four hours doing those topics instead of doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that because my brain doesn't function or learn very well that way. I need to really focus on one or two topics a day and just spend a long time on them and that's how I find I memorize things better. So yesterday I did secure transactions and I understand it so much better than I did before because I just spent the full day doing that. I still don't really get it. I understand what it is now and like the concept, but I don't know all the rules, but you know, we're getting there. It's only like 18 days away or something. So I really got to get it in my head. So MEE topic focus, and then I'm going to do some MBE, of course, which is multiple choice. And later today, Chelsea and I are going to record the podcast for next week. So just a full day of activities. But it's time to go study. It's probably like 8.45. I don't know. Oh, it's 8.50. So I'm just going to get started. I already actually, I already did start before. Got all my stuff out. Family law is not complicated by any means. That's another class I just didn't take. So this stuff is just new, but it's honestly like pretty straightforward. It's like the only topic really that's kind of straightforward. And I'm ready for a second cup of coffee. Jesse just went on a call um, and he's going to get us food and coffee after that. But I don't know what time that will be. And I'm really slowly falling asleep because I've been up since five. You know, I wasn't ready to get back into this. And then the FedEx guy came. And I think it's for me. I'm so excited for these clothes. First, I got a pair of black jeans. These are ripped. I do have a pair of Levi jeans that are just regular. But, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of the way they fit. Black jeans are hard. I don't know. So I got these. I'll have an overlay of me trying all this stuff on because holding it up just really doesn't do anything. This is what I'm most excited for. This cute, cute 
pullover sort of Sherpa material, but not the kind that gets really fluffy in the wash and it's quilted up here. Oh my God, this is so cute for fall and winter. Obsessed. Oh yes, sister. This is another thing. This was a sponsored Facebook ad and those ads always get me. This is what got me. Was this leopard print cropped sweatshirt. How cute is this? I got it in a medium. I didn't want it to be super cropped, but it appears as though it is. Then, because I am obsessed, I got the matching sweatpants, which are also just very, very adorable. I cannot wait. I'm absolutely wearing this today. Those sponsored Facebook ads do, they always get me. You know, and I haven't purchased clothes all summer. The only clothes I bought this summer were two pairs of shorts from American Eagle. And, oh, because, like, where have I gone? Nowhere. So now that it's basically fall and we still can't go anywhere, like, I'm not going to really be buying cute fall clothes. So I'm just going to be buying sweatpants. But I did get this lace tank because I lost my H&M one which I'm very upset about, but this one just looks, garbage trucks here. This one looks basically the same, except it has buttons and I'm just happy to have replaced my H&M one because I'm very upset that I lost that. It has to be in my garage or in the bottom of my closet somewhere. The garage is where our washer and dryer are. It has to be down, it has to be in there because it's not like I would have worn it somewhere and not wore it home. So I don't know. I do want to find it because I do love that shirt. But let me change into this new sweatsuit. So this is the outfit of the day. I love it. The sweatpants are a little more fitted than I'm used to. I'm used to my misguided sweatpants, which are like very, very, very loose. But these are more like sweatpants you can wear in public. I love them. Peach, get off. Oh my god. I'm just obsessed with this outfit. I know it's a lot of leopard. It's a lot of leopard. If I was going somewhere, I probably wouldn't wear it together, but it's 2020. We're not wearing real clothes. We're only wearing sweatpants, so I felt it was a much needed addition. Okay, I'm pleasantly surprised with these jeans. I just rolled up the sweatshirt so you can see. Like, the waist is really high, but they're nice. They definitely run true to size. I'm a 29 and they fit perfectly. In some brands, I'm a 28, but that's very rare. Obsessed. Obsessed. Love it. I don't know why you would wear it like this, but I suppose you could if you wanted to. I feel like the buttons are more just like a detail, but oh my God. Sorry, I'm basic. I can't help it. But I love this. This is the outfit I've decided on. Black t-shirt because I will sweat if I wear a sweatshirt right now. I'm sorry, but they're so cute. I love them. Jesse just got us. Turn into a liquid if I. 
I mean, it depends on what you mean by later. <laughs> For a couple hours. Go on. I mean, I would eat that now, personally, and then eat the other thing later, but... Jesse just got back with coffee and food. Just putting this creamer in. Last time I got coffee from this place, I got sugar-free vanilla in it, but it most certainly was not sugar-free. And then Jesse and I both got these bowls. They're just egg, sweet potato, corn, black beans, onions, and avocado. It's really heavy. I think there's goat cheese in too. Oh, goat cheese too. I'm so excited to eat this. I'm fucking starving. It's so good. <laughs> Oh my god, it's four o'clock already. Hello. I've been studying all day. I have to go let Peach out of the bathroom. I locked her in there because I didn't want her to get upstairs. Hold on. I have been studying all day and I outlined all of family law, condensed it down to like six pages, wrote the essay. Did the essay go well? No. But on the off chance there is a family law question on the bar exam, I really think it will be okay because it's pretty easy to make stuff up <laughs> for family law. After I finish that, I've just been doing some secured transactions again. I made this outline yesterday. I condensed secured transactions to like four pages. <sighs> but I'm still trying to figure out the difference between all these different statements that you file. I get it now, like I understand the whole topic and all of that, which is great, but I'm just like not understanding the like three different types of statements or agreements that you file. But I will figure it out. I'm just shocked that I even learned it. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> because we have an authenticated security agreement, a financing statement, Okay, actually, there's only two. Now it's making more sense. Never mind. Chelsea's going to come over soon, and we're going to record the podcast. We usually record it at her apartment, but I just can't leave the house. I need to study, and it will take me like an extra hour to go there and come back. So she's just going to come here. She's going to be a doll and come here. But until that happens, oh my god, I can't even hold this camera. Until that happens, I'm just going to keep studying security, no, secure transactions. But maybe I'll actually stop because I feel like I understand this. And the only way for me to really test myself is to do practice essays. Maybe I'll move on to the MBE questions. I like to do a lot of them every day. I mean, some people do like 50 a day, which is so great for them, but that doesn't help me if I'm getting things wrong. I just set up the podcast stuff. Peach is obviously a co-host. I just got an amazing PR package from First Aid Beauty. Now, I don't get many PR packages. If any, I think I've gotten like very few so I'm so grateful when I get them like to me this is just so surreal that companies just want me to try their stuff like it's so surreal and first aid beauty is just always one of those brands I see in Ulta or Sephora and I want it but I just never buy it and oh my god just thank you so much first aid beauty this is so nice and it just couldn't have come at a better time because I was feeling super bad for myself and down about the friggin' bar exam. And it literally couldn't have come at a better time. Look at all these amazing products. I'm totally going to use all of them. So thank you, First Aid Beauty. Oh my god. All right, we just finished. It's like 7 o'clock. I told you it takes us two hours to record these things. 
because we just talk a lot and then I have to edit them. take a shower so I'm going through all my new stuff and I'm going to use this cleanser in the shower and this is a skincare I'm going to use when I get out these this is a repair cream I've used this before I just think it'll be a little too thick on my face right now and these are some acne treatment pads but I'm going to use these ones because they're for radiance and then we have this BHA acne treatment this coconut moisturizing primer, a sunscreen, ultra repair wild oat hydrating toner. Oh my god, I'm gonna use that too. <laughs> and then this um bump eraser, and it's for I forget what it's called, but maybe it's like ketosis polaris. I don't know, but it's for like the bumps that you may get on the back of your arms. Some people get them on their legs. I have all these bumps on the back of my arms and the way you get rid of them is like by using a special exfoliator like that one and moisturizing. So I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna also use my Bali Body um, daily or gradual tanner because I am feeling a little pale. All right, I just quickly edited a thumbnail for tomorrow's video, so I totes forgot to do that. And I pretty much did everything on my to-do list today, minus MBE, never got to it. I got stuck in secure transaction world. And now what we're gonna do, first of all, is turn off the light. Sorry, that's not conducive for good vlogging, but I have a migraine as usual. What do I have to do? I have to quickly watch my video that I'm uploading tomorrow, make sure it's all good to go and then do all the links for that. I kind of forgot like what I talked about, so I have to go through and like link everything that I talked about, which is fine, but I totally forgot. So that's what I'm about to do.
Here's my study outfit of the day. Misguided t-shirt, Nike sweatpants, fuzzy socks. I've decided to just make coffee at home because I don't feel like driving to Starbucks. So when I make iced coffee, I use these iced coffee and espresso pods. Look at her. You're gonna break the computer. It's a squirrel. Oh my God. Guess I'll use this. And then I just filled this cup up with ice upstairs because we don't have ice down here. And then I put some milk in the bottom of it. Our almond milk is heavily expired. So I just put regular milk. And then I just put cinnamon on the top because I really am craving that pumpkin spice like um, powder that they put on at Starbucks. And I just don't feel like it's the same as regular pumpkin pie spice and we don't even have that anyway, so I just put cinnamon. The key to making iced coffee in espresso or with an espresso is to have ice and milk in a separate cup and then pour the iced coffee over it or else it comes out way too hot out of the machine and then all the ice melts and then you basically just have like water and I don't like that. So usually if I'm doing MEE and MBE stuff, so essay and multiple choice topics, I start with the essay topics because those I know less about. But then by the end of the day, I don't want to do MBE stuff. So today I'm starting with that. And I'm going to use my flashcards because I feel like this to me is more helpful than reading an outline about just like a long ass topic. In constitutional law, I'm pretty good on, but when it comes to like executive powers, I don't really know a lot. I don't really feel like we spent much time in my con law class about that. So I'm gonna do constitutional law and um, as many other topics as I can do without like just not actually retaining anything and just take notes on literally the bare minimum I honestly feel like I understand property now, sort of, so that's not like my worst topic anymore. And although if there was a property essay, I'd probably be screwed. But property isn't that bad. Contracts is not like my best topic. Constitutional law definitely used to be like my number one thing other than civil procedure and it's emptied it's so away. So You've heard it all before, honest but I know. Uh -huh. Left these years ago, I was young and I'm old, still care for the void, oh. We don't need the past in our lives for tomorrow. Never see the end of the night from sorrow. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done. What do we do to love? 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 When everything's said and done Oh my god, it's now one o'clock. Time flies when you're having fun. I just did constitutional law review for three and a half hours. I did like 60-ish multiple choice questions and wrote out the explanation for all of them in this notebook. I think I didn't write them for the first set. Yeah, because I didn't think about it, but I'll go back and do that later. That really helped me understand constitutional law, especially like separation of powers and stuff. I can't believe how long that took. I didn't plan on spending that long on it because I have, you know, a million other topics to do, but it took a while. But I have to go to the store and get a present for my niece because I, of course, put that off to the last minute. And when I went to Target last week, I didn't get it. I don't know why. And then at 4.30, I'm meeting my mom at David's Bridal because she's looking for a dress for my wedding. 
So, um, that really doesn't leave me with much time because I have to go to the store now. And then I have to get gas and then I have to leave for David's Bridal around like 3.45. So that leaves me about like an hour left to study. So I'm going to have to study when I get back from David's Bridal. And a lot more tomorrow because when I do an MEE topic focus, which is an essay topic, which today I'm supposed to do corpse, that takes me three or four hours also. And I'm supposed to do quick review for two other topics. So I don't know. Here's my outfit for Walmart. <laughs> this is the Abercrombie, I would say it's fleece pullover. And I'm, I'm obsessed with it. It has like quilted chest and then quilted sort of like elbow things. And then girlfriend denim jeans. And I'm just gonna wear sandals because I don't have any like casual fall shoes. I don't know where they all are, probably packed away. So I'm just gonna wear sandals. Out in the unknown, story took us toll. Thought I would have grown uh -huh. off the beaten track to become a better man, sinking in the sand. Oh. We don't need the past our lives. I don't think I've ever ran through Walmart that fast, but I did. And I got Mia this baby Yoda. She loves Star Wars, so thought this was an appropriate gift. Hopefully she doesn't have it. And then I got her this really cute little backpack. I don't know. I feel like kids just like bags, put their shit in it. I just thought it was so cute. And then to put in the bag, I just got her this juicy drop pop. I couldn't find any other like little things to put in here. I mean, usually they have like those surprise bags and that kind of stuff, but they didn't really have anything. So I don't know, she's getting a bag with candy in it. Sorry. Just got home and wrapped me as present. I always like to, I just realized this is upside down, but whatever. I always like to put one gift on the outside. I don't know. I just think it makes it cute. So this is her present. Got to put it somewhere where Peach won't destroy it. And it's like two o'clock. So is it two? Almost. I'm going to do some laundry because that would be something I would usually do on Saturday or Sunday. But tomorrow is obviously Mia's party. And I just feel like the more things that I get done, done today obviously the less I'll have to do tomorrow and Sunday and the more I can study because I'm just like if I only have an hour hour and a half to study I just feel like I can't get into it I need like a full three or four hours and that might just be me making excuses I don't know but I'm going to start the laundry and then get back into it I guess charge my camera study it a little bit of torts and got dressed so this is what I'm wearing it's all from the Abercrombie stuff I showed you yesterday. This is the, what the tank top looks like, the jeans, and then these are the Sam Edelman shoes I wore in my other vlog. And that's the outfit. It's a little, I'm not gonna say it's cold because it's definitely not cold, but if my mom and I go eat somewhere, I would definitely need a cardigan. Although I really don't like to wear a white cardigan with an all black outfit, but I'm kind of limited because I packed up all of my fall and winter clothes thinking it wouldn't get cold this soon, so. All right, just got in the car. Oh my God. Had to go into the pharmacy and get what I think is my last round of stomach medication. It's very exciting. So I think it's my last month. I don't know. But I also got a Red Bull because I'm super tired. Honestly, the medicine really doesn't have many side effects, so I don't even notice that I take it every day, but, um, oh, so I'm, like, waiting there, and he's trying to find the prescription. He's, like, asking me questions, and I'm, like, what? Like, I cannot pay attention. I'm tired. My brain does not function, and I usually just feel like I'm either physically tired or I'm fine. I'm not mentally drained. But recently, I mean, obviously, because of the bar exam, I've been just so mentally exhausted that people are talking to me and I have 
no idea what they're saying. Like, I could be listening to you and have no clue what you're saying to me. A whole conversation will go by and I'll be like, what did I just talk to them about? Like, I don't even know. That's how mentally exhausted I am. It's just my brain isn't functioning. Like, one side is firing, but uh, the receiving end isn't catching. So, that's my dilemma. But at least I'm alive, I guess. Anywho, I'm just going to listen to some tunes and go to David's Bridal. I'm going to see if the Vampire Diaries has a soundtrack because I'm just like really into them right now. And they do. They do, they do. But I want to hear this one specific song. I feel so close to you right now. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go.